You know, I walked by the space every day and kind of noticed that it had closed up. And as we were talking about it, we thought this would be a great space to kind of do something a little bit more unique. When we started talking about the idea of doing it as a zine shop, we immediately thought that Lele would be a great partner. The newsstand, it's a temporary space. It's all independent media, magazines and zines, taking sort of the idea of what a classic subway newsstand could be and recontextualizing it with new media. The newsstand is just like a bookstore. It's underground and mostly sells anything that's printed, from posters to postcards to books, magazines, reading books, zines. People that usually come here are like any type of commuters, from like the random to like art students, anyone really. Because there's a cross between the G and the L, you really get any type. Working in a place with no cell phone service, it's nice, it's very interesting. The vending machine is something that my friends came up with. They bought this old stickers vending machine. They basically expanded and made it like more easy to put little books through. It's an interesting thing. There's 20 different artists that they curated and you can randomly get one of them. And it's super addictive and you keep on like collecting them. Every time they come by, they always want to get a new one. The most amazing thing is that you have a built-in audience of people that are so varying, so different. You know, you're able to put, you know, an experience like this in a place that has the built-in traffic and people just naturally engage with it. You have some people that react like they don't even really know what a zine is. So then it's like this form of education and there's a place on their commute on the way home that they can stop by and pick something up that you can't find necessarily anywhere else. And also it changes all the time.